up, Lester? What's up, Mikey, baby? What's up, man? How are you guys doing? Number one guy for me. Some rats for a change. I know, right? About time. Brandon, it's only 8 a.m. It's pretty chilly out. Ask me again in July. everybody and welcome to a new episode of Rural Ports. My name is Captain Mike. Today we're on our brand new 25 foot center console fishing boat. We got that Mercury 300 V8 back there just running great. And going offshore in search of sailfish, tuna, some king mackerel, maybe a little bit of mahi. But today I want to tell you guys what to do, give you a little advice as to what to do when you find yourself in no current. That's exactly where I find myself today. So we got started pretty early this morning, about a 5.30 start, left the dock around six after loading up, caught bait for about 30 minutes or so. Check out these beautiful baits that I caught. Hard to miss when you got bait like that. And then we ran offshore here to see what mother nature presented today and uh, she did not disappoint with beautiful flat calm seas, nice blue water, a little bit of a west wind. I prefer not to have a west wind, but you can work with it. And the benefit of a west wind is you get pretty calm seas inshore, so everybody enjoys that. But I was greeted with no current. And when I'm greeted with no current, basically means you're just sitting in a, you know, your own little space. The fish aren't coming to you, the bait. You can get lucky on the drift and maybe get some action. And there's gonna be days where you know, there might be some action, but generally, you know, overall, nine out of 10 days having no current is kind of a bad thing. So what I'm doing is I'm slow trolling, which means I'm putting the motor in the Ford barely for just, you know, 20 seconds or so, not even. Once the baits get on the move a little bit, I go back into neutral. Just enough to cover some ground over here and figure out where the bite is. So I started in 100 feet. I worked my way out to 180. I actually had a bite while I was putting my sunscreen on there. Oh, bite, 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 bite. Oh, bite, 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 bite. When you find yourself with no current, the key is to cover a little bit of ground and you can do that by slow trolling. And what we did there is we put two spinners out using live bait clips which means when the fish hits that rod when a fish hits that bait 
The line's gonna come out of the clip. It's gonna be with the bail open, essentially a free spool. The fish should feel no drag at all. And then we'll close the bail and come tight on that fish. We're letting her eat. She's just a little bit of a puzzle out here. You're just trying to figure out where the bite is, where the current is. Sometimes there's current to the north of me, to the south. I'll hear buddies, you know, up in Fort Lauderdale saying they have some current or down in Key Biscayne they have some current. All right, first fish, first hookup on the new boat, baby. She don't know she's hooked yet. Just getting out the spread here. I'm about 165. Yeah, baby, come on, take some drag. I don't know, she's acting like a bonita. Hear that. Nice little king. Hi, oh, yellowy. Nice little king, all right. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Nice kingfish. Let's get on there. Baby Gaff. Get us? Sí. Ooh, qué rico. on new boat little kingfish oh, pretty little king I know okay Tristeza por él. Yo quiero video con él. Después. Fish bait. All right, Valerie, let's get out the second bait. We're going to put off the bow. Where's Valerie? Oh, look at this. Wire leader, definitely not a sailfish. Otro. Oh, I think it's another king. Come on, baby. Is it a bonita? Is it a bonita? It's 
the bonita. But my buddy, oh no, it's a bonita. Hi Kelly, it's Buna. Bonita. Hi Kelly. Too much going on over there just outside of hollow over a lot of boats so i ran pretty far south here pretty much off cape florida not nearly as many boats down here and i'm greeted by some really beautiful blue water out here it looks much nicer there's a frigate bird in the distance but overall I'd rather be solo out here bigger they're gonna get bigger beautiful fish thank you beautiful 